Thank you for watching. My name is Harley and I am obsessed with all things Trader Joe's. I know I just did a September haul. I know it's not time for the October haul and that means it's time for the fall haul at Trader Joe's. This is like a fall explosion. The last few weeks have been absolutely crazy with all the new products that have come into the store. I'm pretty sure the pumpkin items are, are, are done at this point. You can start focusing on your Thanksgiving items now. And of course, we picked up some items because we couldn't help ourselves for fall and Thanksgiving. And of course, those last minute pumpkin items. So please join me for the haul. I hope that you consider subscribing to this channel and give the video a thumbs up and let's jump into it. Starting with one of my favorite ice creams this time of year, it is the 32 ounce pumpkin ice cream that they have every year. Um, it's melting now, but as you can see, it looks amazing. If you're considering having this for Thanksgiving, now is the time to pick it up. Here is a shot of the nutrition. And this is a very creamy, very decadent ice cream. We actually like to put this on our pumpkin pie. Even though pumpkin pie is usually topped with vanilla ice cream, this is where it's at for us. So we picked it up now so that we have it for Thanksgiving because it will not be around that long. As a little side, the um, artichoke timbales popped back into the freezer section. Uh, I found them at a store that I don't normally go to, but I was excited because they were super yummy when we tried them. And I'm glad to have them back in the freezer for a whenever meal. As a quick refresher, here is a shot of the nutrition as well as the ingredients. We baked them in the oven and they were fantastic. Go ahead and score these in your freezer section. If you have them, they will be good for the better part of the year and you can eat them whenever. So we are fans of their cauliflower rice in the freezer section. We always have a bag or two in our freezer. I don't know if I ever saw this one before. It's the Raced Cauliflower Stir Fry. It's got peas and peppers and corn um, with a little bit of oil and ginger and onions and tamari. So I thought it was interesting. I picked it up to try it. Here's a shot of the back. Um, it does contain soy and sesame, but it looked sort of healthy to use as a side dish when making dinner if we didn't want to go all out. All right, on to the main event. There are four simple ready-made meals that we picked up at Trader Joe's, um, starting with the autumn vegetable and white bean gratin. Here is a shot of the front of that. And I got this to try, I don't know that I've ever had this one before. Here's a shot of the back. And this is a super convenient way to make a meal during the week. And because it's storming this week, we decided it's gonna be a lazy week. So we're gonna have a lot of lazy meals and this is gonna be part of that. As you can see, it comes pre-made, you throw it in the oven and it doesn't get better than that. The turkey pot pie, delicious looking, all put together. Here is a shot of that. This is a meat item. It's got turkey meat, uh, root vegetables, stuffing and gravy. Yum, yum, yum. And you know, I was just feeling it. I mean, it's cooler out, it's raining out. Why not have a nice warm pot pie and if you eat the whole container here, they give you all the info. And if you eat just a serving as well. The roasted cauliflower and orzo is one of our favorites. We will buy this all season long and have it almost every week. Um, it goes well with pretty much anything that you make. You can even just eat it by itself. Uh, and this is cheesy, delicious. It's got kale in it. Uh, sun-dried tomatoes and it's topped with panko and you can even add your own items to this if you want to add a little more cheese or whatever you want. Here's a shot of the back. 
Um, and this is what it looks like in the package. The four cheese scallop potatoes are also in. These are very good, um, but you have to cook them well enough and you have to cook them long enough in order for it to work out. I have found that at least with our oven, the instructions aren't entirely accurate, but we love this and we usually buy it. And with all of these things, plus salads and veggie burgers this week, it's definitely going to be a lazy week for dinner. All right, and these are the four items that we selected from the refrigerator section at Trader Joe's that recently came in. I feel like there's a few more, but we don't like them. There's a root vegetable one that's way healthier than the autumn vegetable one, um, and a few other meat ones. So this is what we selected for the week. I hope that you try at least one of these because they are really good. I tried to pick out the good ones. And of course, to go with all of those healthy things, we got the veggie and greens salad kit. Um, I haven't seen it in a while. I don't know if it's back or if it was a sourcing issue, but it's got all of your greens. As you can see, it comes with a honey ginger dressing. And this is your nutritional information. There are four servings in the bag. It looks so good. I can't wait to eat this tonight. And yeah, so this is something that we'll definitely have. And the good thing about this is if you don't finish it all in one sitting um, with your family, you can put it in the fridge and it really won't wilt up because it's that like really hard um, vegetable medley that's gonna withstand the dressing. And of course it wouldn't be the rainy season without your lovely hearty soups. Um, I did get some Pecorino Romano to put on top. It's a um, cheese that they have in the refrigerator section already uh, ground up there for you at $8.49 a pound. It is super yum. It lasts in the refrigerator about a month or so. You can use it on all your Italian dishes or your salads or whatever it is that you want. We got this to throw onto some of our soups. We, of course, got the unexpected broccoli and cheddar soup, which is one of our absolute favorites, and the hearty minestrone soup. Both of these are vegetarian. I want to say that the minestrone is vegan. Here is your nutritional information and your ingredients. They're really teeny tiny, so you can blow that up if you desire. And then, of course, the organic hearty vegan minestrone soup with delicious orzo pastas, vegetable broth, kale. This is your superfood soup that's just great for a rainy day, lunch, dinner, whatever it is. They're in your refrigerator section at Trader Joe's and we absolutely love them. Are you seeing what I am seeing? This is the unexpected cheddar cheese spread that I cannot wait to dig into with some pretzels or some chips or even some crackers. This looks amazing. It is tiny when compared to the soup. It is in the refrigerator section at some stores, not all, because I will tell you that I had some trouble locating this. Uh, it is basically just like a regular cheese spread but they're using their unexpected cheddar cheese which is to die for if you haven't tried that you go should go ahead and do that also new is their organic mozzarella cheese with a nice little new package some people think that this is just a rebrand or repackaging here is the current mozzarella cheese that we have from the old one. As you can see, it looks completely different than the new one, so I'm guessing they found a new distributor. This is your back-to-back -back comparison. So as you can see, it is different. The um, serving size is different. The calories are different. So it's less calories, less fat on the new cheese. It is a low moisture part skim mozzarella on the left. So, um, this one is as well, but I guess they took 
10 calories out and they took uh, one gram of fat out in the new cheese. I don't know if that's because of their portion sizes or if they did something different or if it tastes different, but as you can see, it's clearly not the same. New kombucha from Health Aid is the Citrus Immune Boost one. Now we don't normally buy this brand because they do add the sugars to it. It's not naturally fermented. So this does include 14 added sugars, but all kombuchas have sugars. It's just depending on what you put in it. Uh, and here's a shot of the ingredients so you can see them. It is using cane sugar, um, but again, it's supposed to be healthy, so we'll try it. We still like the Living in Gratitude Fall uh, Synergy Kombucha, which we did buy more of that as well. And this caught my eye when I was at the store because it looks like there's new packaging. Again, I don't know if it's the same supplier or not. Here is the uh, ingredients and nutrition information. I don't have an old one to show, but we'll try it, we'll see. I don't remember if the old one was organic or non-organic. So these are good until December, so we have some time to give it a whirl. And how can we not forget the felted wool trivet for fall, which is just beautiful. Um, we usually leave this out on the counter and put stuff on it and it just adds a nice pop of fall color to the kitchen. You can certainly use this at your Thanksgiving table. They come out with a Christmas one as well. And I think that this is just a cute little tchotchke for the house that you can pick up at the store. So I'm going to show you one of my favorite sandwiches. They have this all year round. It's the turkey apple cheddar sandwich. It is so delicious. And for this time of year, it is perfect with the turkey breast, with the apple and the cheddar. It is just a fantastic lunch option. Of course, it didn't make it much into the house before I ate it. So I did manage to take some pictures for you. Also, I have the pumpkin bagels, which didn't make it in because they're pretty much gone. I think there's two left. They're so delicious. Here's a shot of the ingredients as well as a shot of the nutrition the best I can. Go ahead and score these now if you want them. You can freeze them. They're so delicious. And I didn't want to not share even though we ate them mostly already. So new cookies um, or new packaging, I'm not sure. There's the gluten-free chocolate chunk cookies with sea salt. There's three cookies in the package. Here is a shot of the back. And then they have the gluten-free oatmeal cookies with raisins. And again, three in a package. Here is a shot of the back. I couldn't resist to check out picking up this cute little mint flavored chewing gum. Um, it does have natural flavors in it. Here's a shot of the back. It does have uh, cane sugar as the first ingredient, so it's not like a sugar-free gum, but super yum. All right, this is the time of year that you get your active dry yeast. They have this seasonally at Trader Joe's, and we picked this up just so we have it. I think we're going to try to make our own bread. We'll see how that goes. Probably not very good. It's got some recipes on it. Um, there are three of them in a row, and they have them by the baking stuff. I neglected to show this, uh, I think, on the last haul. This is the pumpkin pie spice. We use it all year round. They only offer it at this time of year. Here's a shot of the ingredients. It's got the cinnamon, ginger, lemon peel, nutmeg, cloves, cardamom. One of our favorite spices. 
And it's $2.99, not $1.99 like a lot of their other spices. Also in this spice area or the baking area is the vanilla bean paste, which if you know, you know. Um, we picked this up again this year because we use it when making French toast and baked goods. And sometimes we will use this, which is their pure bourbon vanilla extract. They also have their regular one, but this is my preference when I'm buying from Trader Joe's. We are a fan of the Madagascar vanilla, and I don't think they sell that there. Uh, so we picked this one up. Here's a shot of the ingredients. It's got the alcohols with organic vanilla bean extract and water. They have a non-alcohol um, regular vanilla extract, I believe, as well. So check that out if you're in the market for that. A little shout out to bringing back our favorite room spray, which is super hard to see. So this is the orange mandarin and cinnamon clove oil room spray. We tend to keep it in like the bathroom. We spray it in the entryway. It's delicious smelling. Um, they also have like a lemon citrus one, but this time of year is when you get this orange one that is just divine. So not a huge haul, but lastly, I just wanted to give a shout out for the Trader Joe's bringing back this Kalamata extra virgin olive oil in the um, 33.8 ounce container because it has not been there for a while and I was getting very upset and bent out of shape and I thought that they were replacing it with this. That is not the case. It is back. Grab it while you can. It's 10 bucks. It's one of the best oils on the market. It's one of the best Greek oils. It's very highly rated and it's reasonably priced for what it is. Not that you're gonna be able to read all this, but it is also a single source product from Greece, which is very good as well. I also picked up this Sicilian extra virgin olive oil. I really couldn't help myself. It was on an end cap and this is what happens when they display stuff that I haven't seen in a while. I haven't bought this in forever. It is, um, distributed in California, but it is from Italy. And again, it is a very good extra virgin olive oil that they sell for quite the reasonable price. And while we were on oils, I just grabbed some of my avocado oil to show you that they also have that as well. Um, this is one of the better ones. It is from Mexico, it is single origin. And they also have their avocado oil spray, which is perfect for cooking anything. If you need to spray your pans, your baking dishes, and the like, this is non-propellant. It is, uh, again, from Mexico, single origin, and it is very, very good. So these oils are super amazing. I highly recommend you go out and grab one or more to try. As always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I can't wait to dive into all of these goodies. Please give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I will see you for the October haul next time. Yeah!